of time. Ready? Yes, sir. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Home Improvement with Tim the Toolman Taylor and Al behind the camera. Today, we're setting up a fake Shorty's Muscarizing Sunboard to skate, but we're going to talk about Soltech. So, upcoming stuff with Soltech, including, you know, the obvious S, America, Etnies. Not too much with Etnies going on besides some Walmart discounts, but we'll dive into that. But I'm also going to be putting this together the whole time, so I'm going to be distracted a good little bit. See, that's what happens when you fuck around. There's a ghost in here. Got the bams on. Oh, sick. Man, we need to get like a 15 inch TV put on there and have that shit playing in the background. Why is it not up? I want it set up on here, but I don't have enough space on this desk because of all the clutter. That's why I needed a bigger desk mm. one day. I want to get like a wrap around. All right, so anyways, let's dive into the actual video, what you guys are here for. I want to say I don't get a lot of the ins and outs of Soltech stuff, but then again, like a lot of people I follow on Instagram post their stuff all the time. So technically I, sh I know about a lot of crap, mm. but there's some pages you can follow, like Chomp on Kicks is, you know, obviously the biggest one. If you're a Soltech person, they are the absolute the most, like, the biggest page you should follow. Yeah. But uh, this dude, Joshua Jones, on Instagram, he always posts upcoming stuff for them. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys in this video came from his Instagram page, actually. So shout out to you for actually posting that stuff, if you're watching. I want to dive in with the obvious one s because they actually have a lot of stuff coming out so there's a lot to talk about with them s has the most recent 298s that just came out obviously a lot of people hate that soul that it has the soul is the Evant soul if i remember correctly the problem with the 298 is that it is supposed to be a take on the costume two one of the like most famous costume shoes aside from the one that shoe had a nice runner toe sole on it which is something that myself and a lot of other people love and it's lacking that in this shoe so now it has just a regular cup sole and then also another annoying thing with that sole is how much it protrudes out the back very small thing doesn't really matter but it's enough to kind of be annoying but again you know like i mentioned before shoes like this are like the closest that we'll get to the actual og reissue so sometimes we just got to take what we can get but i skipped on the red and white one because i don't well it's mostly white and red um i don't like that colorway for myself to wear or skate because it's white leather i don't like skating in white leather um so i'm kind of just gonna wait for some other colorways because they do have yellow and black is coming out that's one of the colorways i really want but there's also a few others so i'm just gonna wait it out wait for those to come out i'll buy that and then i'll do a full review on it i see a lot of people asking me if i'm gonna get those and do a review on them got back to most people that have asked me i'm not gonna buy these ones at all i'm gonna wait until those colorways come out but the shoe does look good the whole upper is literally the costume too it's like pretty much spot on there's i don't think there's many differences with it which is nice but also at the same time it kind of like makes it such a big letdown that they kind of botched the sole so much mm. because of how close they were like there you're right there you're right at the finish line and they just said good enough and <laughs> sat down and got some water again i mean beggars can't be choosers it's probably the best we're gonna get i don't know i don't know why they don't do like a full reissue honestly because i get it you can't get Costin's name for the shoe but you don't have to have it technically s owns all rights to every shoe design that they have ever done at least i believe so because dc i believe that's what dc had told me each one of theirs they could reissue anything they wanted to if they wanted to but it's you know it's a stepping on toes thing but at that same time you're already you're technically stepping on his toes by making the the entire upper with a different sole still right. regardless you know what's the difference of stepping on three of his toes versus stepping on all five get on all five stomp them make that shoe 100 percent and sell millions of them i'm just some guy that collects shoes and skates once a year what do i know <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting that once this year for 2024 right here once i get all these air pockets out i don't know i think it looks good um i know a lot of you guys do hate that sole like i said just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it i believe the 298 colorways that i'm waiting on i don't know the actual release date i know it's supposed to be this year sometime it might be pushed towards like fall but i'm willing to wait it out because again I'm not getting that white and red so i'll just wait till those come available there's also the white and blue colorway that's in that photo that i'm excited about i don't know if i'm supposed to be sharing this because some of these photos were sent to me but oh well s will just have to tell me to delete the video <laughs> we 
you think about that, Brandon? <laughs> I mean, they can tell us to lead it, or so, like, hey, can we, uh, how about we just work together on some shit? The, uh, they ain't gonna work with me for shit. <laughs> the, uh, the next shoe, the reason I say this one now is because I did get told to take the post down for it, but the Mosca, they got two colorways coming out. The tan one that I absolutely love, I absolutely love both of the colorways, but they had the tan one coming out. It's supposed to be set for spring 2024, which is like right now, um, but I'm guessing around maybe March they might do it because they had the skate shop day releases of the 298 and the, this right here actually this shoe so those two came out so probably what they're gonna do is wait for that to sell and then drop the muskets in that tan i'm assuming that would be nice i do want to get a couple of those i'm gonna try to go whole size down in on this time because s shoes have been fitting weird lately like the muskas you know these americas i had to go like a half i guess half down from my normal like america s shoe size and i went to a nine in this instead of a nine and a half with the muskas i got nine and a half in them the i don't know they feel weird the length feels right but then they feel wider and more loose on the foot so i kind of want to see if like just jamming my toes up in there will make them fit better and look better on my foot because when they're on my feet they don't look good it's weird. I don't know if it makes sense. You guys, I don't know if any of y'all had that problem too. I think adding an extra insole in a shoe would help out a lot, like uh, Norm had mentioned to me before, which I need to try and do. I haven't even worn a pair of muskas yet. I've put them on, looked at them, and just thought, like, this ain't it. I love the shoe, but the fit is weird. So who knows? Maybe in this next one, I'll get a nine in one of those. I didn't want to try it in any of these because I have two every single colorway already. I don't need to buy a third one. They have that, and then they have the colorway that I got asked to take down which is the black and blue i'm not gonna post the picture in here that way they can't really say anything i'm just talking about it but oh we did talk about it already though we shared that picture of musk on the yeah on, on the wall. wall yeah the venice beach yeah. wall um with musk sitting there he's got the black and blue pair on it's all black most of us little blue accents but that one is coming but that is set for later and i think they want to keep it kind of like hush hush because again they want the cells on each shoe to go smooth and then mm -hmm. on to the next one. Like with these 298s, I knew the other colorways were coming out, so I didn't even bother buying the white and red. Whereas, had I not known that, had they just said, like, this is probably the only colorway we're ever gonna do, I would have bought a pair just to get a pair. Right. You know what I mean? So I see why they're doing it, but let's scratch this puppy up. Oh, sweet, sweet music. Back. Let's move on. What else we got? Kragers. A lot of you guys like Kragers. They have two colorways coming out. Again, I don't know exact dates on this stuff. Um, they're usually set for like spring, summer. I think these two are. Um, but they have the all white with blue accents, which is a colorway that I've always loved that like S does on some of the shoes. I can't multitask very well. My random parts box. We'll do it with crap. Mystery hardware. Yeah, fuck it. Let's use these because I don't really like these. I don't want to save them. Black Panther Swiss. Fuck it. Dolo. Let's use the expensive stuff. I mean, they'll last a while because they're you don't skate. Oh, they'll last an entire lifetime, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyways, so the Kragers are a beautiful shoe but as you guys know like i think that they are a little bit too poofy for me so i don't know if i will get them or not i might sit them out it looked too damn good like honestly like i might get one of the colorways for the wall they have the the white with the navy and they have the blue with red accent i think the white one's coming out first blue one i'm not sure when that one's coming out one thing i do want to know um is if you guys have skated the Kragers, uh, let me know in the comments how they skate because I've kind of tossed around the idea of skating my pair. Um, they're a little snug, kind of small. I uh, can't wear them, but then, so I was like, might as well skate them. I wanted to see if they would loosen up some when I skate them them too. The only thing I've seen so far is those two colorways for that Krager. That's got a lot going on. Like I said in the DC video, uh, the previous video, DC's kind of been like, you know, stagnant not doing much well s is kind of like on top of what do we have already the 298s the muskas mm -hmm. the Kragers. they also have another colorway of the penny 2 coming out which is actually a pretty nice colorway i don't 
I didn't buy any of the Penny 2s. I think it's the Penny 1 is the one that I like. It was a low top, if I remember correct. Uh, the Penny 2 is a nice shoe, but it's just not something that I want, personally. I do like to see what they're doing. I love that they're actually, like, you know, giving fucking Tom Penny his shoe back again. Giving him a chance to have a reissue. Tom Penny is, like, one of the fucking greatest skaters of all time. Honestly, he should have shoes and boards available not only till he's dead but long after same with like muska like remember me telling oh, you like i don't sure. mind muska having new colorways and new boards and stuff all the time like i wish it would stay that way right yeah so that's pretty much it for what i know about through s so we'll move on to the next brand which would be america this one i'm kind of excited about they have this it just came out um they have a couple other colorways coming out that I don't have screenshots of. Don't know where to send you to get them because if I did, I'd kind of have them already. They have the, it's like tan black and orange, something like that. There's like a black with orange colorway coming out. There's a couple other colorways coming out. There's one that I thought was a Skate Shoe Dreams colorway, maybe. It looks like one of his colorways, but that one's coming out too. You got a lot of helpful images for that. Use your imagination. They're coming out. I don't know when, but one thing that I am kind of excited to see from America is the Heretic reissue, which is here, which is not... An actual reissue it's more or less another take on the heretic they're more like the heretic twos which sucks because the one is essentially the only heretic that i like i'm not mad at the new shoe the new shoe does look good it's like a slimmer version of like what, what the two was which is nice the one heretic one which i'll put a photo in there for you guys to look at if you don't remember it to me is like one of the greatest america shoes of all time it's the very simple basic shoe this new one looks like it's a very simple basic shoe as well again you know it's not the one it's still a good design so I'm not really mad at it. I do wish they would have brought the one back. But again, I'll take what I can get. And it's nice to see America actually doing something like a solid rubber toe cap. Even though this is slim, it's still kind of like a heritage throwback design. It looks good. It's probably going to skate good. And these wheels don't belong on this board. Absolutely not. Well, fuck it. I'll change them out later. <laughs> I don't know. It ain't terrible. It's kind of terrible. What do y'all think? Not good. <laughs> It's so boring. I tried to like assemble this board before we did the video. And as you can tell, I didn't show them. It's kind of hard to find shit. So I'm just gonna set it up like this and then I'll go change the wheels later on. So they do have a couple colorways coming out of that shoe. Uh, but the only one that I kind of really care about is the, uh, Norm's gonna love this, but the all black with the gum sole. That is like the epitome of of a like a heretic colorway and also of that time frame the 90s or 2000s that was one of my favorite colorways i don't know why i loved it so much back then i guess because like black shoes go with every fucking thing i don't like wearing all black shoes now because this shoe from far away you can't really see what it is you can't exactly. tell any details you know nothing pops about it but then at the same time that's what's great about black shoes is sometimes you don't want to pop sometimes you want to blend in sometimes you just want to be unnoticed and those shoes are great for that but that colorway is like such a great colorway for like skating in and so i'm gonna get that one we'll do a review as soon as they come available i will jump on those and get those quick give you guys a heads up let you know what to look out for america doesn't have a lot coming out that i like that i would add in this video just those things the og ones and those heretics are the only interesting things to me that are coming out but i have heard they're gonna be doing reissues soon and they're gonna be doing shoes like the templetons i believe i think s teased somebody s don brown somebody from soul tech teased about that and i don't know if we're getting the one or the two i know we should be getting a templeton and the one and the two are both amazing so that's something to look out for. I'm pretty sure they'll be doing a lot more reissues too because as you can tell with S, reissues are doing well. That's what most people are buying. So they see the hype. So they're going to move it on to the rest of their brands like America. And then of course Etnies as well. But Etnies is in a weird place. Walmart to be specific. <laughs> <laughs> so like I don't really know what's going on with that uh, Etnies. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on with Etnies. They don't have a lot going on. They had a point where I might have a photo. The Cypress reissue, they had that coming out. They had the Etnies, I think it was called the Fielder Sandal. They had a bunch of stuff lined up. Pretty much reissues, but a little bit modern twist on it. Out of nowhere, had samples, everything done. Didn't bring the shoe out. Neither one of them. The sandals, the shoes, like they didn't do any of it. And I don't know why. They still do have some stuff like for the ladies. Brand's mom. 
Oh, hey. Um, Cali Cuts in the white and pink colorway, which is like the absolute most sought after for women. And Brandon, he's a lady. So another thing with that knees is, there it is, the snake. So, <laughs> the, uh, the snake is an old design. Brandon, you can show him the photo. So it's an old shoe that they did a reissue of, which is nice to see. So that knees does have one good thing going on. It's just a start to a lot more OG reissues. I don't know. It might be the only OG reissue they do. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully they keep doing more. But it does look beautiful. It looks pretty spot on to the original from my memory and from what I've seen on Google because I don't remember the shoe at all. I don't know why I said my, from my memory. <laughs> uh, it's one of those shoes that like at that time when Eddie was, was making shoes, they had like the low cuts, Mc, McRaps, I believe is what it's called, McRap or just wrap. Mm, I can go for a McRap right now. Yes, me too. Limited time only. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of like blended in with a bunch of the other options that they had. Looking at it now, it does look good. And it's one of the only shoes that I'm kind of excited about coming from Etnies. They brought their low cuts back. Was it their low cuts? Yeah, they brought the low cuts back a few years back ago. 2017, 18, which is like my favorite Etnies shoe. But they brought that back and it was a little bit slimmed down, but it's the way it fit was weird. And it kind of just made me not want to ever really wear it. But I have them in my closet and I think I'm going to skate on a pair. So look out for that. Actually don't, maybe do, I don't know. Who knows? We'll, we'll see, see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I do kind of want to skate those because like I said, I don't like wearing them. The way they fit on my foot fits, it's kind of weird. Uh, mostly the tongue. Like I said, I like my tongue to pop out, does not on those shoes. I would like to see Etnies just do more OG, like full reissues, like this shoe. So like if they did the low cuts, the original low cuts in a full true OG form, I feel like it would do great, you know? I mean, it's better than what Etnies is doing with anything else. Right. I mean, the Joslin is a good shoe, like the Marana, good shoe, yeah. you know? That's the thing, it's like, it's a good shoe, but it's not something people that, I mean, I've never heard anybody be like, Oh, I can't wait for the next fucking Marana colorway, right. or you know what I mean? Like, so I think Etnies needs to take this leap to get into that. You know, I think it's gonna take like OG reissues for people to be like, oh, I can't wait for the next fucking Etnies, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, it's cause like their new designs for me aren't doing it, especially right now. Like what's out right now, if you go on Etnies website or Etnies Instagram, maybe their website to get that. Well, I mean, maybe their website. You might see their shoes on their website, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yes, go to their website, go to their Instagram, look at what they got, it's not a lot. By chance, the Soltech is watching. I don't hate Etnies, I love you guys, please. Go into more OG reissues, for the love of God. And try to keep them true, at least, you know? There's a lot of good shoes. Bring the Oracle back, that was a really cool shoe. Mm. I'll send you a photo of it so you can put it in there. Oracle is fucking tight. Of course, in Vallelis, which I think somebody said Edney's pissed Vallely off, so I don't think they'll be doing that. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. Looking at this, dude. Throw that picture up again. Look at the fucking colorways coming out. That's fucking tight. The, uh, let me see if I can zoom in on this. The tan brown gray on the bottom, that looks fucking beautiful. The white navy, I don't know why they call that white navy. It literally has a navy liner on the inside. Mm. And it's Brandon, poor Brandon. He has no idea what I'm talking about right now. No idea. <laughs> but, uh, you'll see whenever you're <laughs> editing this. But yeah, it's mostly a white and off-white shoe. That's a fucking phenomenal colorway. And then the black and white is basic as shit, but still looks fucking good. It's crazy. Those look promising, man. Also. Not as promising as those pink and white Cali cuts. I'm gonna have to buy a lot of those. Cherry on top. Those are beautiful. It's gonna be my daily. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I thought they had black and pink too, but it's black. Damn. I had to go back and look at that photo. That sucks. Just white and pink will have to suffice. I'll take it. Oh, let's get a pair of white and pink Cali cuts to skate in. Bring back that 2005 vibe. <laughs> Dude, get, straight up. Get me a harder gram shirt. <laughs> With like like a black and pink hardogram shirt, some of those white and pink etnies, even though they don't really correlate with Bam, but fuck it, pink. Close enough. Suck a D. We'll make it work. Um, as you can tell, S has a lot of stuff coming out, which is good. I'm excited for it. I do like S. The only thing I hate about S is the, I guess, how cheap their shoes feel. That kind of does suck. You would think. 2024, there'd be way better materials, better stuff, but I just don't feel like it. I mean, the SXL is what I'm gonna be skating this and the OGs. I have my pair that I skated for a while and they're still looking like brand new. So they last, at least the XL OG does, for sure. Look at this, so S 
has a lot coming out, right? But still, imagine <laughs> this. Hopping on their website, <laughs> and this is your fucking options. This was S. If you missed out on this era of skate shoes, I feel bad for you. Holy fuck. Imagine logging on the S website right now and seeing all of this shit. You, you, like, you feel like right now, like S has a lot of stuff coming out. Imagine if they had all of this out right now. I'd be fucking negative in the bank. <laughs> I'd be homeless carrying around the biggest bag you've ever fucking seen filled with fucking S shoes right now. All right, it's fucking crazy. So that's the thing. All these brands, all these OG brands, why did I say it so like California-ish? OG? OG, man. All these OG. So all these OG brands, like literally, DC? I mean, come on, bro. They have the heat. If I did miss anything, let us know in the comments and I'll try to go over it in the comment section the best I can. I don't know anything about S's team or America's team or anything like that. I don't know anything that's going on with them team wise, like how I did with DC. And another thing also speaking on DC, somebody commented in there about the ins and outs, something that like I didn't know. So go through the comment section, you'll see it. I don't, I forget what it was that he said, but I remember when I was like reading through and replying to the comments that it was a good point. But yeah, if you wanted to know more about that DC stuff, go through the comments. You'll see some good some good tips and information in there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, again, if you guys know stuff about S, let us know in the comments because it doesn't only help, you know, like me and Brandon out, but it also helps other people out. I don't know everything. I'm not going to pretend to be like, <laughs> I'm the smartest skate collector in the world. I'm not. Feel free to add any information that you can think of to any of these type of videos because these videos are more so just to be informative help for any of you guys watching that don't get to see the like early drops and stuff like that you know give you more of a heads up of stuff if any out there are watching actually know about other stuff let us know in the comments so other people can see let's all fucking treat this like a forum kind of miss the old days of forums yes sir except for slap forum i got on there like two times i think they hate me on there Ooh. <laughs> i've only been sent like one thing about the slap forums and like uh i got on there and they were like i'm so tired of that dude i had to block him on instagram because i was tired of seeing dc shit and i'm like what the <laughs> what did i do to hurt you oh that's understandable yeah but they mostly just hate you Brennan. yeah they don't even know me <laughs> no it's all me but yeah again guys thank y'all for liking watching comment subscribing all the shit and again 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 if you know anything about anything let us know in the comments so other people can see it but i'm gonna finish putting this board together with some actual tools that i forgot to bring with me always slacking man yeah i know i hey, try my can, best uh, what's up slap one of them stickers on there uh, those stickers suck God. One of these things? Yeah, these what is puppies? it? Oh, nice. I'm trying to think where to put it at. I get wheel bite on my heel a lot because I land like heel heavy. So I got to put it on my toe side. I'll do it over here on the tail. I want to preserve it. I don't want to get like torn straight off. Did you know this sticker was actually on that Ocean Gate sub that imploded? No way. And it was the only thing left. This this only thing I found. That's impressive. Yeah, pretty good sticker. You know what? I don't know why. In that video about the stickers, I was pressing down so hard on that sticker where I had to grunt. I was like thinking about that because like it was awesome. It was an awesome fucking edit, but like I was like, why? <laughs> why was I straining to put a sticker on a fucking skateboard? Not a bad look. Have we been selling any of these? Yeah, man. Oh shit. I just mailed uh, some today. No, oh, Brandon does all the ins and outs of everything honestly this is this is what i do <laughs> brandon does everything <laughs> else and uh so i don't really know like if they're selling or what you know which is good i'm surprised i'd rather just not know anything i'd rather just be oblivious and just make stuff and hopefully sell stuff link in bio huh? oh yeah <laughs> Fuck me, dude yeah link in the bio to buy some stickers if you want to buy some if you don't want to buy some go buy some anyways to show me how much you don't want to buy them if you guys have any ideas for other brands or anything to go over, uh, let us know in the comments. I know one guy keeps asking about iPads. Brandon keeps telling me, man, I have one pair of iPads. It's kind of hard to do a video on that. I had some that I skated in 
and it's old. And now I'm just down to one, some grasshoppers. So it's mm. kind of hard to do a video on it. Assumed when I said, if you have any ideas of brands, somebody would be like, oh, iPad. I don't know much about iPad. So don't do iPad, do big brands. And I'll try to figure out some stuff. I actually kind of want to do like research into the next one. Mm. You know what I mean? That would be nice. Yeah, so let us know in the comments. Um, a brand that you want us to go over, I'll try to actually do some research. Maybe message the owners. Ooh. So they can ignore me. Leave me on red. Right. But yeah, again, thank you guys. Peace out. I'm gonna finish putting this together. We'll catch you next time. Maybe in the next video, I'll be skating this outside. Hopefully with a different set of wheels. Later, y'all.